Hello, hello, hello friends. It is I, Self-Critical Automaton, and it is time to continue making terrible mistakes in Half-Life. So give me a shout if you cannot see what is happening, and uh, I will try and fix it. But if you can see what's happening, then we're golden. <laughs> So I should have fixed the shader issue this time before starting. This should be the deliciously crunchy proper classic looks with also the deliciously crunchy classic rectangular models appropriate to the era. Can I smash this? I cannot smash this. And other questions that people find themselves asking at 3 p, 3 p.m., 3 a.m. on a Saturday night. Uh, how do I get under there? Crouching. It's the answer to all of our problems, new and old. So, where we left off last time was um, fleeing an extremely explosive rain. A sudden storm that chose to begin happening. Something India Lima? I L? I don't know. Not the world's most useful announcement system, fuck. The most appropriate weapon to use in an enclosed space is a shotgun, which is not true in real life, but very true in video games. Hi Lisa, welcome to more explosions and bad noises for people's ears. Oh, that's what he's saying. I guess, I guess the soldiers own the announcements now, I'm not dropping down there just yet. So yeah, we uh, we showed up for work, we discovered terrible things happening at work after we, I guess, fucked up? And uh, now we were trying to escape. We fled through the facility, fleeing through the the heavy there there, fleeing through the facility up to the surface has achieved very little because the sky started dropping bombs on us. It's fun that they have a little sound effect. Oh. Killed 12 dumbass scientists. Well, what's he gonna do about a real idiot with a grenade? Shit, that was in his head. He should be dead. Oh fuck. Well, um, I guess they, I guess they all know where I am now. If I die here, it's gonna be extremely embarrassing. I'm actually not sure if the, uh, that, if the. Can I climb this? Ah, but I can climb this, maybe. I'm not sure if the damage values and stuff will reset between streams. Is there a way up there? It super feels like I should be able to get up there. Uh, yeah, so then we decided to come back down on underground where it's safe and start some kind of Morlock society in the air vents because that's better than getting shot by a succession of soldiers. Or possibly explosion- Oh, was that my blood? I suppose that was my blood. You should see the other guy, though. Uh, anyway, yeah, along the way we made many, many tragical grenade mistakes. And I'm hoping that we will survive long enough to make many more. Is my torch running out? Why is it red now? Oh no, there's a dead guy. Is that one of my rowdy boys? I hope not. I'm spending way, <laughs> I'm spending way too long in this fucking vent. Um, there we go. Back to normal and fantastic. Exactly what I needed. Old-timey gamer skills make me suspect I'm about to face a boss battle, but there's not quite enough trash in this room for that. I guess this guy fought the boss already? Is there nothing here? Sucks to be him, I guess. Anyway, let's go. Oh, I can't fit through there. Okay. I super thought I could. I guess this isn't the way I need to go. I mean, the thing about Gordon Freeman is that he was definitely canonically the, uh, like, vent crawler team champion. Or he would have been if he had been at Black Mesa long enough. I think we established previously that canonically Gordon Freeman only spends three months at the facility before it goes terrible. My personal headcanon is that he spent all of those three months slowly becoming more and more infuriated with his teammates and his workmates and their callous disregard for ethical science. Which is, you know, 
I think he was probably on the verge of going postal when all of this happened anyway, and therefore it's completely canonical that I blew up those guys with a landmine. Am I stuck? I can't find any other ways to go. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, posting in the uh, Black Mesa community vent channel, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Which means sneaking into uh, sneaking into the vents and complaining. Complaining in the vent channel is just what the scientists at Black Mesa call it when you um, you know crawl through the vents to your supervisor's office and start whispering horrible things in his ear when he's not paying attention. Do I need to go down here? Super looks like I need to go down here, but if I touch that, I think it... Oh, there's a ladder. Well, I was making this more difficult than it had to be. Uh, um, wait, how do I get back up then? Aha! What? That super looks, looks accessible, but I don't... What if I drop down the corner? Will I die? Or will I be fine? I haven't missed these old sticky valve ladders. Quick little cheeky quick save. Haha, -ha, secrets. Secrets and mysteries. What are we going to find? Is it more people who are going to shoot us first and ask really no questions whatsoever? My suspicion is yes. But, oh, there's nothing here. <laughs> what was the point of this then? We've seen this hallway before. It's just. Oh, I guess there's shotgun ammo. Which we don't need because we're barely using the damn thing. Extremely inefficient shotgun capacity. Oh look, it's my grenade smears from before. Oh, I remember when I exploded all of those things. Uh, am I stuck here now? Aha! There is nothing weirder than an old valve ladder. I'm not sure if this is the source engine, the original version of the source engine. Oh, no, I knew it was a ladder, I just couldn't get the engine to stick to it. I kept bouncing off. Okay, then. So, well, we know what's down there and it's not worth grabbing, so let's just avoid being blended into a fine paste. And continue on to crawl inside another rusty hole. I really wish my torch would stop going out. I suppose it's better than in... The sequel where they tie your torch energy to your sprinting energy, which is, you know, um, somewhat more questionable, frankly. How many holes do we have here? Two holes. Oh, this seems like a bad hole to be in. Oh, it's fine! Well, so much for the government. Their idea of containment is to kill everyone associated with the project. Looking for your test, I'd say you were part of what went wrong. <laughs> right? <laughs> at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test lab, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Good luck. I love that you show up out of a vent. You crawl out of a vent that you previously saw a guy get just disintegrated into jam inside. In front of this guy, who is locked in this room and therefore must have seen the terrible thing that happened to the man who went inside this vent. You pop out in front of him, he looks you up and down, and the first thing he says is, Hmm, judging by your outfit, this is your fault. Like, jeez, thanks, guy. I'm going back in the vent. <laughs> People respect me in the vent. Well, I'm not surprised that there are skippable things. This is a famously speedrun game, after all, although the sequel more so. Or do you mean- wait, hang on, I- is this where I came from before? Was one of the vents the one I already went in? Ugh. I have bad vent directionality. Well, this is shaping up to be pretty uneventful. Get it? So far. But where? Where is my precious, precious sneaking hole? It's the top one. The top one's where I need to go next. But also, you know, I don't particularly want to skip an entire chapter. It's cool that you can do that. Is that, is that a glitch or is that supposed to happen? Is that just, you know, if you toss a grenade in there, he'll leave. Oh, this is just a dead end. I feel sure some of these are supposed to break, but maybe that happens later. 
Is that if you just toss a grenade through the door before it closes or something like that? That's not where I need to go. Here we are. This is where I need to go. You know, you should probably do something about bloodstains in here if you're going to stay. Like, I don't know about you, but blood really starts to stink after a while. <laughs> oh, I see. That's devious. That's that's very clever. I'm absolutely here for um, scientist manipulation tactics. Oh, is that it? Are you going to let me out or what? Also, if you guys can hear my Discord going blood up, uh, let me know and I will go mute it. Where am I? Where am I supposed to take this guy? I want to open silo D, please. I need, I need, I need the D. I have to get the D. It's very urgent. Will you help me? Will you? Will you help me get the D, sir? That's a no. Oh, elevator. Oh, okay, so I just need to head right back through here then, I guess. Except that I do not seem to be able to. Or am I supposed to get him to go through the vents? Because they are very adamant about not doing that. Also, give me one moment and I will switch off my Discord noises. Which I normally do, but for some reason it reset on my system and my sound settings went back to whatever the fuck they normally are. And that should be fixed. What's, what, what, what control pa- oh. Oh, you mean the silo access control panel with the giant word silo access printed on it that I flopped out of the jam hole right in front of and then completely proceeded to ignore? I didn't need you at all. I no longer wish for your shriveled scientist D. You can stay here. You can stay here if you like and I won't care. Oh. Oh, you do actually want to come with me and maybe not die horribly in this place? Well, what a surprise. Okay. Okay, I've made a lot of mistakes before. But this time, I think I can do it right. Why don't you come back over to the other side of the load screen? Come on. A little bit further. Alright, you're definitely going to be safe here. Why, why are you walking? Well, if you're going to insist on being in that position, I'm sure it's fine. That smashed less than I thought it would. Hello there. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm... My field of view? I just have it set to whatever the defaults are because I couldn't be bothered to change it. Right, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'd have to hit these guys vertically. How much will that change my field of view? Because I actually don't like too wide of a field of view. I find it... I don't like the fish eyeing. I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, let's try it out. And I hope this isn't some kind of why don't you delete System 32 clever trick that I'm about to fall for, like a fool, like a moron, like a jackass. Default FOV 106.26, 106.26. Welcome to 106.6 FM, where we have the widest vision and the best takes. Are these smashable? I can see more of my gun. Fantastic. Oh, hang on. My hands! I remember my hands! Yes, this is fantastic. I haven't seen my hands in so long. I forgot they were there. Can I fit through here? I apparently cannot. Also, thanks for following whoever the fuck that was. Um... You're extremely cool. Welcome With to the me. Okay, now what I'm going to need you to do... Excuse me, sir. My brain is just as big as yours. K 
can uh, uh, can we fit under? Can, well, come on, crouch. Dimensional breach is definitely transmitting organic matter. No, I just oh fuck. This is as far as I go. You know, I've destroyed the barricade. You won't be safe, but whatever. I can't be bothered to argue with you today. So oh fuck. All right, let's see if we can riotously machine gun some more fauna. went well. I say uh, ow is more of an emotion than a uh, ow. More uh, than a reaction to uh, actual physical interaction. If I pop this open, is it going to grind me up into little pieces? Apparently not. Because honestly, it would be fitting with some of the... Um, Cloverclog's bullshit that they've pulled in this game. For you to be, you know, invited to press a big button that then drops you into a pit full of grindy gears. Apparently not. <clears throat> Perhaps this is some kind of puzzle. Perhaps it is some kind of puzzling situation in which I have to use intellectual logic. Or not. Perhaps it's that easy. Wow, this seems like a room I should not be firing bullets in. On the other hand, on the other hand, it's been a little while since I threw a grenade and I kind of want to. Run, 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 run! I'm enjoying that way too much and it is reinforcing my belief that this is... Like, Gordon was going to be doing this today anyway. This was the day he showed up for work with a bag full of explosives and a handgun. And fortunately, fortunately for him, everything worked out perfectly. Oh, interesting. Uh, I had not realised that they had a different aiming system than anybody else. Bull squid, uh, no, no, that's not bull squids, these are blink dogs. Blinky, blow buggy, weird eyed, gloopy, slimy, big blink dogs. I love them very much. But, you know, really, the tragedy that we all live with in our lives is that we hurt the ones we love. Never again will this thing happily squiggle around and bounce and go squee up and then explode on me. Which is such a tragedy, such a tragedy. Ooh, the trains, I missed the trains. It's been a while since I ran something over in a train. I guess you could say that I successfully trained that one. <laughs> I think bull squids are the natural predators of head crabs. I don't know what blink dogs are the natural predators of though, because they don't seem to have any kind of uh, Ow, 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 fuck. Any I had no idea what I was going to say. They don't seem to have any kind of mouth or feeding apparatus. But then again, these are pretty old models. Is this another one of those? This is another, this is another jumping situation. Apparently, this sludge is radioactive enough that it's glowing green, which means it must be pretty fucking radioactive. But, fortunately for me... It follows lava rules. Now, a physicist should know that convection only works if you believe in it. And the thing is that ionizing radiation is exactly the same. Video game rules dictate that... Ouch. Video game rules dictate that, you know, if you don't touch the lava, it can't hurt you. Because convection only exists if you believe in it. And the same is true, as I said, for ionizing radiation. So long as, uh, as, long as you don't touch the green goop, you'll be fine. That crackling noise, that's just uh, that's just a handy warning that your suit gives not to drink the soup. Should I, should I murder that? No, I'm going to let that one live. It could be someone else's problem. It's not very often in a Half-Life that you get to just make something someone else's problem. I learned this trick in SAS shooting school, by the way. Nobody can uh, nobody can headshot you if you're constantly moving your head up and down. It's a clever trick. And nobody really wants to be headshotted by a bull squid anyway, because what is that? Some kind of horrible mucus slime? I imagine that it tastes foul and uh, is very difficult to remove. Well, 
yeah, but Gordon doesn't know the Black Mace is going to get nuked. As far as he knows, he's just trying to get out of here. Like, it could be anything that happens. Perhaps, you know, perhaps we'll kill all the aliens and everything will go back to normal and we can just be fine. And it's it was never a problem. We don't have to worry about it all. And we can just do, keep doing whatever it was we were doing before without changing any of our lifestyles and behaviours in order to deal with the, quote, alien invasion, unquote. Were you expecting centrist takes on my channel? Probably not. For the record, that was me being facetious. There has been some evidence in previous streams that people cannot tell when I am joking. This is because I am a robot rather than a human being. As such, I have an extremely ironic and uh, highly developed sense of humour that many people don't get. Well, you see, the advantage to shooting them at that distance and them not- is that they can't hit me. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with the idea of being unsporting, but I absolutely love to shoot things when they can't shoot back. It's just logic. You know, you should always hit people smaller than you because um, people bigger than you might hit you back hard. Ouch. Might hit you back harder. Oh, hey, I was eating this dude. I guess, um, I guess it must have mistaken his enormous bald head for a head crab, which is understandable. They do look quite similar. Is that a head crab or is that a human? Let's find out. Ow, fuck. Submachine gun rapidly becoming my favourite gun and I'm heartbroken that it's now out of ammunition. Can I hit that from here? That's a no. My bridge! What do you mean there's consequences to my actions? I have to click on everything, ideally on the head, as fast as possible. Haha, <laughs> dodge that one. Or is this the silo that has the big crinkly monster in it? I like the silo. Hup. Now the real question is, are those projectiles capable of triggering explosions? Because that is a very important piece of information to which I do not have access- this fuck! Imagine, just think, what would it be like if you could talk to the monsters? In fact, the famous the famous line, what if you could talk to the monsters, was from the review of the original Doom in, I believe, Edge magazine in the 90s. And it was very much the kind of... Um, it's what people refer back to when they start talking about immersive sims. Because when the first Immersive Sims came out, with, I believe, uh, 1999's... Oh, this one's sneaking there. We don't care that this man fell to pieces. Um, when in 1997, I think, that Half-Life came... No, Half-Life is... Yeah, something like that. 1997? Um, no, 98. And then 19... I'm starting to sound... I'm starting to sound like an old person at the... At, like the village shop, it's like, oh yeah, no, it was, the, it was the winter of '97. We, I remember because it was a very cold winter and we lost six children. Fortunately, we found them again once the snows thawed. Up, oh, made it this time. Haha, <laughs> so long, dipshits. I hope you enjoy ionizing radiation. Evelyn, stop being funnier than me on my own channel. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so, as I was saying last stream, like, this this game was a major shift in storytelling um, in the first person genre because it really established all of these ideas about set piece design. What? What? I can't hear you. Oh, he's dead, okay. I'm sure he was telling me something important about the loud noise. Now, you don't spend long in Black Mesa without learning to avoid the blood vents, so these things really aren't a threat to me anymore. I'm really tired of that noise. No, 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 you, you're gonna be alright. He's gonna be fine. No, I, he's not gonna be fine. Power, oxygen, fuel. Well, this seems like a puzzle. 
tang to tang to tang ta 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 tang to tang to tang to tang ta 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 tang. I very distinctly remember the noise this thing makes. Well, when it starts to oh hey a shortcut. Uh oh. Ow. <laughs> well, that didn't have to be a problem, but I chose to make it one anyway. I think it just exploded someone. Um, can I hit that safely from here? Well, I'm asking a lot of questions that I immediately find the answer to. <laughs> Anyway, so the whole trick to getting through here is to make a noise somewhere else so that it can't uh, can't see you because it can't it can't find you. It just it just wiggles around and hits things, and that gives you the opportunity to flee. Generally speaking, ow. Well, hey, we have a chance to not result in that guy's immediate and brutal death this time. You're so lucky. I have time powers. I feel like. I feel like I don't get enough respect from the NPCs for the fact that I have time powers. I brought you back to life, my man. You would be dead if not for me. Can oh, can I bring him with me? After that, let's run like hell. I can bring him with me. I should not. I should not abuse this power, but I kind of want to see what happens. <laughs> oh, I love to hold shit in video games. My favorite thing to do. Um. Now, okay, it's going to go over there for a bit and I'm going to try and sneak through. And then what I need you to do is stand on this platform here and then start yelling as loud as you can. You understand? As loud as possible. All right. Oh shit, I hit it. Time to go. Okay, I think I need to throw the grenade on those crates, maybe, so that I don't have to bother with them being in the way. Can I just deal with that first? Anyway, so to go back to what I was saying about four shots to kill those, that's worth knowing. Um, oh, if I, if I walk slowly? Ah, if I walk slowly it might not hear me. Of course. That's the kind of idea that a genius ha- Well, that's not the kind of behaviour that a genius performs, but I don't care. So, do you know, I, I don't think I ever figured that out when I played this as a kid. I think I just kept running always, and eventually I would sprint through the doorway before they could catch me. came out and changed changed games completely but at the same time where the hell did I throw that? Fuck that's a bad place for it to be. At the same time people were starting to develop, develop the ideas that would eventually become the immersive sim. There was of course Ultima Underworld that kind of first pioneered the design parameters that would become the immersive sim. Can I break through this quickly with my shotgun? Nope. How do you pronounce Ultima? You pronounce it Ultima, just like that. It's it's Ultima. Um, Ultima Ultima was kind of more of a direct influence on the like all-encompassing RPG rather than the immersive sim, um, which has a, a stronger focus on smaller environments rendered in a much higher degree of detail. Whereas Ultima are kind of like giant sprawling RPGs rendered in a like much higher degree of detail than one would normally do for a you know an RPG like that. Um, anyway. So, yeah, um... Ah. Ultimate? Ultimate? Ultima? I don't understand what the problem is there. How, how do you pronounce it? Ultima? Who says ultimate? That's not, that's not normal. I'm from London and therefore my use of the English language is the correct one and everybody else is, is, is wrong, crazy or foreign. Oh buddy, that didn't look good. 
So. Yeah, Ultima. Oh, you're objecting to where I put the stresses. I see. Well, you could have just said that rather than cosplaying as fucking Plato for 15 minutes. Um, I'm never going to get through this. Absolutely gibbed this man. So, yeah, um. What I'm trying to say is that um, System Shock came out like a year after this game, and then Deus Ex 1 came out a year after that, and between the two of them kind of codified the genre for the next, you know, 20 years. Um, but a lot of those storytelling techniques were pioneered here. And all of this came about because someone made a silly joke which reminded me of the iconic, iconic line about why can't you... This is getting silly. I think you could call it cosplay-towing. Kapow. I'm starting to lose interest in this puzzle, to be honest. Sneaky and stealthy, that's the real way to go. I have not once been sneaky and stealthy in this game before, but it seems to work now. Well, that was significantly easier than I was making it, which is really just this entire series in a nutshell, isn't it? It is fascinating to come back to older games with a modern perspective, where so much so much effort is is placed on making it easy for the player to figure out what to do and how to do it. You know, there's, there was no concept of onboarding. You were lucky if you got a tutorial back in this day and age, in that day and age. Um, sneaky. And your friend too. Just two bros chilling under a ladder, six feet apart because they're head crabs. I think I need to get down there. Can I smash this? I can smash this. You know, the magnetized slide rails that they built into the second generation HEV suits were incredibly useful. Before, you know, before they were added, you had to actually, you know, use your hands and legs to climb down ladders. But, you know, thanks to those, thanks to those magnetic runners, you can just zoom around. Like, that's why, that's why, um, source engine ladders are so sticky. Let's see. Oh, I love the sound design. I love to hear the gentle cl clanger, cl clanger, cl clanger of, of feet on rusty iron pipes. But, so, the reason why I brought up this intertext with um, the immersive sim is because it's really interesting to see this period of design where places don't really have a function or a concept or a purpose. They're just kind of there, you know? The offices that you go through are offices in theme but they don't they aren't shaped like an office really and they don't behave like an office for the most part um they're clearly not designed as an office space they're designed as a fun area to solve puzzles in order to pass through and also shoot things i think there's a few times oh oh shit this doesn't work underwater uh ah. oh well i have a solution to that can't shoot in the water can shoot through the water Probably, probably should pay attention to that and keep track of it for later. Can I fire on? So I can fire these bullets underwater, but not the shotgun. I wonder if that's because, um, <laughs> is that an attempt at realism? Because, of course, you can fire a handgun underwater pretty easily because all of the oxidants, all of the um, oxidizing material needed to fire a handgun is contained within the shell of the bullet itself. This is where you can fire bullets underwater, in space, whatever, although of course after the first bullet it jams because um, it uses the recoil to rack the slide, I think is the term, which obviously won't happen if you're underwater because the, the viscous medium results in no real, um, in, a, in, in less motion in the springs of the mechanism. Can I open? I cannot open this. Oh, I can open this. 
You know, it's nice to fight things that I can just shotgun to death. It's been a while. Let's not fall down there. In fact, let's quick save. Right, time to get the zoomies. Now, I'm going to guess that there'll be some way to turn this fan on, and when I turn this fan on, I'm going to start heading upwards at high speed. And I need not to be in the fan when that happens. Time to hurry. <laughs> the many deaths of Gordon Freeman. I mean, I've committed many crimes on this on this playthrough so far, but I do think that I have possibly paid for them with my life about 15 times, so I think it's only fair. Can I make it this time? <gasps> yes, fantastic. I simply was not fast enough. Rip to me, but, you know, I would simply be faster. Ow. Time to very slowly inch my way over into the vents where I belong. Back in my safety vent. Lovely. Love to sneak around the safety vents. I don't believe that Gordon has been given uh, given grenades while working as a scientist. I do, however, believe that he brought his own from home. I love to imagine him hopping through the office section going, Yes, sir. Yes, I did bring enough to share with the rest of the class. Why don't you, why don't you take a couple? The shotgun. Universal key opening device. A uh, lock opening device. Wow, I fucked that up. Right. Hopefully I won't see any more human scientists as well, because I, I do keep accidentally exploding them. Except I did save one of them at least. At, at least one scientist is not dead because of me. See, I'm glad you've shown up to say that now, because earlier today I was remarking on my headcanon that, um... Gordon Freeman is absolutely... You know, he was here for three months and every day he got closer to going postal. Which is why he's so delighted today of the, the Day of the Resonance Cascade. Because he was going to be doing this this afternoon anyway. He had it all planned out. So it doesn't really make a difference to him in the, in the long run. <laughs> That's weird. Can I get under this? Is there something secret? Nope, it's just recessed. I want to explode things. See the timing on that? I dodged an explosion. I'm really good at this. Hup. Well, you know, they probably have a lot of military contractor things going on, right? Why is there even an airlock in here? It sure is good that I got more of my best loud explodey boys. Where's the door? Sneaky, 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 sneaky gets it done. It's impossible to be sneaky on a, on a source engine ladder. If I throw grenades down its hole, does it stop being horrible? Apparently not. Fuck, let's go. Haha! <laughs> See, this time speed was the answer. Yeah, there's definitely some of that energy to it. Go there? No. Who dares wins? Fantastic. I'm speed running now. Nice little larder this guy has. It's like a collection of the models that appear in the game. Oh, I got across this one before it even broke open. They're lucky I'm not bunny hopping. Oh. Well, hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure I smashed this. Did it load back in? There we go, that's more appropriate. If there is anything I can break, I'm going to break it. Including animals. Because I'm just a bad person, I guess. Many crimes of Gordon Freeman. In fact, based on my performance last stream, I suspect he should in fact be Gordon Incarcerated Man. Which is the best joke I've ever written, I hope you, hope you all realise that. Oh, this will, oh, okay. I see how it is. You'll put me down, sir. 
And you, sir, will refrain from picking me up in the first place. And your colleague, I will leave alive as a warning to the others. This looks like another puzzle that will result in my death. Oh yeah, it probably wasn't a parallel reality. I, you know, I said that I don't get enough respect from the NPCs because, you know, for someone who has ridiculous time powers, what the fuck killed me? Did I get did I get gibbed by the elevator coming down? <laughs> I did get crushed by the elevator. This is this is embarrassingly prescient. I suspect. I suspect that that's going to happen again at some point. But yeah, like, one of the things that's rarely acknowledged in video games and delights me when it is acknowledged is that, oh, this seems bad. Can I, can I reach that ladder? Nope. And with silence, I accept my death falling from the sky. Can I just get on the ladder from here and not worry about it? See, this is smarter. This is a better idea. Look, look how well we're doing. Real scientists use logic and sense. Oh, hey, there's... Ah, speaking of... How did you get down here? Because that lift is a death trap. And I'm not speaking figuratively, my man. System has completely failed. Hmm, I hope no one expects me to start up the generator. Smithers went down there and never came back. How oddly passive aggressive. You could you know, you could just ask me to do what you want me to do. Wouldn't you don't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope. That's oddly menacing, but you know, you could just ask me to go do the thing instead of standing there and saying, gee, I sure wish someone would turn on the generator. It sure would be nice if we had some generators being turned on. But I oh I'm just a I'm just a I'm just a tragic scientist locked in a room forever, with no indication of how I got here. This seems like a spectacularly badly designed system. This is another one of the mystery rooms. Mm, fuck, that was close. Black Mesa has a a fair number of these mystery rooms, and they are all ouch. Did I get did I get smashed again? What the fuck? Gordon being like, I love to I love to get trashed. Wait, that's no, that means something else. I love to get smashed with my friends after work. Smash cut to Gordon getting wrecked to pieces by large pieces of machinery that won't stop fucking moving. Hey, what are you? Are you alright? Why are you? This is, is drastically improved. this is the only sane man I have met today. Don't worry, buddy. I will not tell anyone that you're here. Um, hey, do you have? Do you have like a wife? Do you have a family? Because if you have any messages for them, I'd be happy to. To take them, you know. Or are you just... Okay, you're gonna stay there, that's fine. Hey, do you know what happens if I press this button? Are we cool? Are we good? Oh, I guess it's fine. I thought he... I straight up thought he was gonna explode. Is there another button or am I forgetting something? Is that it? Is that all I needed to do? Oh, shitting hell. My head canon for Gordon Freeman is that he absorbs so much radiation that he enters into it and becomes one with the radiation. He no longer has to worry about such petty things as mortality. Ooh, can I get in there? What's inside that hole? I love to climb inside holes. Gordon Freeman's whole existence. <laughs> Accidental pun. Oh yeah, Gordon Freeman's whole existence. Aha, two buttons. Ah, oh, shit. Everything's so fucking slippy in this engine. Slippy and wiggly and bouncing around happily. Well. I don't think- ouch. I don't think I want to touch that was the sentence I was halfway through saying. You know, maybe I should just press buttons and wait and see what happens instead of pressing buttons then immediately touching whatever the fuck it was the button was attached to. You know, just as a general rule for avoiding frequent death scenarios. Right, press button. Press button. Tell this guy he should probably move. Buddy, you should probably move. 
All right, let's see what happens to him. I'm sure you'll be fine. I don't think he's going to be fine. I really don't think he's going to be okay. Ouch. <laughs> okay, so that's my entire jaw smacked off as well. This is getting tedious as well. I do not miss the age of um, FPS jumping puzzles. I'll tell you that much. For free. Oh. Well, sometimes it gives you instantaneously, and sometimes you get just gently swept off the edge. You know, have you ever gone into the kitchen at three in the morning and you're like, well, it's a mess in here, but I don't have the energy to actually clean it. So you just sort of sweep the crumbs onto the floor and like, well, I'll See, it happened again. See, I wonder sometimes if Gordon is actually canonically mute, and I think that the, um, the, like, fandom headcanons of him being mute and using sign language are actually pretty reasonable and understandable. Uh, yeah. This is this is how I become the Joker, you know. This, they say that they say that insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Well, you know, well, you know what? That's also videoed games. Haha! <laughs> dodged it that time. Ouch. Right, let's try that again. Button one. You should move. Ooh. Oh, it's also slippery. There we go. Ow. Well, I mean, a shattered shin is better than getting hit by that thing again. Oh, for fuck's sake! This is... How many is that now? That's about 15 times I've tried and failed to do this. Uh, so, like, I spent literally all of yesterday in bed with um, bad flu symptoms, so I'm going to blame that for my terrible performance today. You know, you can't lie in bed for basically 24 hours being miserable and not lose every single bit of video game skill you ever had, apparently. Oh shit, you're right, I probably should quick save. Oh yeah, see, that brings me back to what I, the point I keep making, which is that, like, the idea in the design of the spaces of these games is just that there is no expectation that this is a space that anyone would ever actually use. It is not designed with that concept. They come up with the puzzle first, and then just design a space that that puzzle can fit in. There's no conception that any of these spaces should be designed in such a way that they actually work as physical, logistical spaces in a real world. And that is the, the fundamental kind of leap of logic that occurs between this game and, um, and System Shock. Let's go. Come on then. You're going to have to leave me here, Gordon. Um. All right. I refuse to go another step. This is my corner. This is my spot, and it's where I'm standing. And I don't care. I don't care if monsters eat me because this is my corner. And yeah, that is the thing. It was one of the most realistic games that ever existed at this point in time because it pioneered all of those storytelling techniques that were then. Um, aped relentlessly by the entire rest of the industry for the next... Well, it's still happening now, actually. This game was the birth of scripted sequences. This game was the birth of environmental storytelling, to some extent. Um, it completely changed the industry, and everybody immediately pivoted to trying to replicate... Okay, well, this is another puzzle, ain't it? No wonder these are here. Could you... Excuse me. Could you not... Would you mind moving your tongue? No? Okay, well... This is an entirely fair and legitimate reaction to your behaviour, sir. Right, back to what I was doing. Because prior, you know, prior to this game, it was these weird open spaces and these weird corridors and all of this weird stuff. Um, but yeah, so we basically, the modern style of Call of Duty, we have this game to thank for it. Um, I think the clearest indicator of this is what, something I mentioned last stream, which is that um, Doom 3 was famously desperately trying to ape the sort of like immersive horror tone that Half-Life tries to set, although to modern eyes Half-Life is fucking hilarious. People genuinely found it a bit scary when it first came out. Hi Maverinthia, welcome to the stream. 
And so on top of all of that, like, there is just the fact that um, it just changed all of these things fundamentally forever. And it, I kind of find it hilarious that um, the former style of, you know, shooter design is actually coming back now. Because in 2004, the same, the same year that Half-Life 2 came out and completely revolutionized the industry again, this time by having the most realistic physics engine anyone had ever really played with in a video game, um, and by uh, developing, you know, storytelling methods even further in games. Can I make this jump? Almost. That's that's good enough. That's fine. Uh, yeah, there was this point where it. Oh, what the fuck was I saying? Uh, I've completely forgotten. This is this is the fun of trying to stream while you have like ADHD. Ow. Attention deficit hitting my head on the fucking floor disorder, apparently. Whee! Yeah, that's true, but it's also true that, like, the major changes that happened with Call of Duty, you know, um, and the way it changed the industry is that everybody started making these immersive experiences instead. Um, or supposedly did. Oh, hey, I didn't die this time. Great, I just get to stand here until I slowly die of an extremely fast organ shutdown. Uh, but yeah, no, I've gotten lost in my... I can't hear a goddamn thing over this thing. You know what? Someone really needs to kill it. I think that that would probably be the most... Ow. Well, I shall await death. I really think they should have just put a kill plane down there. But yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, painkiller, right. So, um, the rise of the, the quote-unquote boomer shooter fascinates me. Because, ugh. Fascinates me because there wasn't actually an attempt to revive it. Uh, to revive the original style of shooter at around the time of Half-Life 2 coming out. Because in that same year, you had Half-Life 2 coming out and completely blowing the industry to bits again and completely changing the way people did this stuff again. Um... And you had Doom 3 coming out, which is when, you know, id were trying to, to ape the original Half-Life and make their own um, competitor to the original Half-Life. And that same year, Painkiller came out and was like, hey, guys, you know, like, Quake and Doom were really fun. Why don't we play those? Why don't we, why don't we, um, you know, go back to the, that run-and-gun style of combat where you get to... Uh, sprint backwards and explode things. Serious Sam did this as well to some extent, but um, Serious Sam was much more about backpedaling in big open arenas, whereas the actual kind of really clever level design that went into those. Did he block my grenade? He did block my grenade. Only got a few pineapples left, I'm gonna have to be careful. Um. But yeah, so Painkiller came out and attempted to recreate that style that much, uh, even even that at that time. And it was it was a success amongst like shooter fans, but it was never like a huge commercial success or anything. Ah, oh, come on. Which is itself interesting because of all these other reasons. The fact that people tried to bring back the original FPS then, only, what, like four or five years after those original FPSs started um, disappearing and getting swapped out for other styles. And then now, you know, 20, mm, even nearly 30 years since the original Doom, we've got a ton of these new attempts to bring it back exactly as it was with all of these, you know, there's like 15 pretty big titles recently. Um, I can't get through there. Oh my god, have you decided to be quiet? <gasps> He's shut the fuck up, finally! Delightful. Uh, what the hell was I doing? I was picking up all of these grenades, and then I was going to tell this guy to stay put, rather than explode him. And then I'm going to fucking quick save. Oh, this isn't my thing that kills that. Ow. Alright, let's make sure to drop the, uh, last shield. Or, I guess that's- is that incorporated, or...? Oh, this doesn't seem good for me, personally. I would rather not be torched to pieces. That 
doesn't sound fun for him. Is there- I, th I straight up thought there was a blast shield you could lower. Maybe I'm thinking of the rocket launch later. Anyway, the important thing is that that guy is gone. Like, what a tedious asshole. You know, we've all been at a party and just an enormous three-fingered tentacle beast will just be like, clang, 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 and you're like, yeah, I know, clang, clang. And then they're still saying, clang, 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 clang. And you're just like, I know, but, oh, I think I see my friend over there. I think I, think I see, hey, um, James, can I, hey, uh, and then James just ignores you and you have to keep listening to the fucking tentacle beast. Let's try not to die from impact. How how wiggly was this guy? This seems like he was a very wiggly guy. I see. I see how it is. Fortunately, it auto-saved. Unfortunately, that might happen again. Fuck, no, we're fine. It's all it's all fine. We're all we're all good here. I'm fine. How how are you? Yeah, what happened to him? Like he seemed cool. <gasps> Oh, oh, the feeling of power. Oh, the heft in my grip. Yes. Mmm, delightful. That's exactly what you want when you're going underwater to fight monsters. A goddamn magnum. Second most iconic gun of video games. The most iconic gun, of course, being the Desert Eagle, which appears in pretty much everything that's ever been made, and I'm going to drown to death very soon. <laughs> Right, okay, should we try that again? And this time, not die terribly. Hop. What's that triangle on the ground, though? Hmm. Maybe it was spare bullets for my delicious revolver. Okay. Speedy this time. Let's go. There we go. And we're done. That was a lot easier than I made it seem. So we will actually get a, a sniper style weapon later in this game, but for now the closest thing we're going to have is the magnum. So I probably should save the bullets. Although I've only got... Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 no, we're fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go! I'm just, I'm just going to stand here and plug myself into the wall for a minute to recharge. Which is something I have to do in real life as well as in video games, because as we have established, I am a robot. Which is a joke I never actually commit to. I always forget and then start talking about things as if I'm a human again. Um, which is possibly why I lack a good gimmick. But you know, we all love to get gimmicked a little bit from time to time. Preferably in private when no one's looking, we can um, just deal with it and no one has to worry. Can I fit down here? Fuck. Well. This soup seems less specifically dangerous than the soup we saw previously. Is this- is this fine? Am I just fine? Well, I mean, I might drown. <laughs> dra dra drowning in, like, radioactive gamma soup is a terrible way to go. On the other hand, it clearly wasn't that much of a threat. As it's just goosh to be back out where we started. I mean, the last time I saw something glowing green like this, it did instantaneous damage to my body. Wait, is it just because I had- oh, it must be because I had shields. I suppose this is an environment suit and therefore designed to protect me from the environment. So being damaged by the environment would be something it's good at stopping. On the other hand, I should probably not try and drink the Gatorade anytime soon. Right, where do I need to go now? Does this do something? Oh, it does do something. What does this do? I have no idea what that dude did. did it open this? I think it did. Let's go! Let's not fall down the hole. Amazing. Possibly the only time I have successfully made a jump on my first try today. Welp. Is that going to kill me every time? Because that might be a soft lock if so. Ow. Welp. Oops. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, my carelessness with explosive weaponry remains a constant. 
Wow. Ooh, the shrapnel on that's really spicy. In fairness, I was holding down the, the, the button to click to wail away on this thing, and when you switch to a new weapon for the first time, you switch to that weapon, which means that the same clicks I was using to hammer the box open was the same click that placed the explosive. So I can't be blamed for this or any of the other terrible things that happen in my periphery. You know, terrible things just keep happening around Gordon today. He's got no control over them. It's just... Ooh, this guy. See this guy? This guy is uh, Pincer's Mech Explosion, and he is... Oh, hey, it's that guy as well. He's Pincer's Mech Explosion's brother. I need to not be in the open right now. So, you know, when you see him, you think, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna pincer me with his pincers and that's gonna be a problem. But no, the actual problem is the heat output. Oh, this is where I came from. That didn't help at all. I don't... Th I'm... This is a puzzle boss. This is... Most of the game's bosses are puzzle bosses, which is amusing because it is, again, this kind of interstitial point between... Modern FPS design and old school FPS design. You know, I should be bunny hopping and backpedaling while blasting away at that thing, but nope. Can I... Can I smash it with a train? I may not smash it with the train. Two titans locked eternally in combat. Truly a battle of the gods. Oh shit, he died. Okay, well, time for me to hurry. <laughs> Alright, well, if I let that guy distract it, maybe I can get in here before it's a problem. And... That was a nasty surprise for him. Is he about to die? Oh yeah, he's super dead. There's bits of him. There's bits of him in the hallway. That went really far. I think that's the furthest I've seen a gib travel. I've seen guys get... The fucking... This, this is... I don't think this is even on fire. This is just what happens when you have um, a sufficient PSI on your ruptured pipeline. Oh, he can go through it, so it's fine for him. I guess not. I'm getting good at headshotting these guys. Ow, Jesus. I think I heard someone else be startled by that. Ow, Jesus. I've hit it with these crabs. Looks like I need some antiparasitics to deal with this crab infection. That sounded better in my head. Well, you joke, but very early in the game, when the disasters first started happening in Black Mesa, we did actually see a laser pipe rupture, and the laser pipe started lasering lasers all over the place because the laser pipe ruptured. However, that one was marked with the phrase laser, 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 which this one is not. You know, I don't know why they don't sell these for DIY work. They're very efficient ways to cut boards. Ooh, that's what I need. Delicious juice. I choose to believe that Gordon is not plugging his suit into this. He's just, like, chugging down the delicious fuel gel from the nozzle. We all, we all like a good nozzle in our lives. Hey, you alive? Mister, you can get the power on. That train will take us straight to the surface. I would try it myself. It's a long way down the generator room, and there are things in the way. Oh, please. Mr. Freeman was my father. I'm Dr. Freeman. Doctor. I went to university. Um, hmm, track power. I think I should probably switch that. Fuck! Well, I still pressed the button, and that's the important thing. I do need these uh, bullets, though. Ow, 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 ow. Right, okay. So that's how it feels to be a little bit on fire. Pop. Ow. That was less efficient than I hoped it would be. Crowbar, crowbar, crowbar. My most valid friend and trusted ally. None of these other motherfuckers are trustworthy down here. This is just the land of people I don't trust. Except for Crowbar. Crowbar is my one and only friend. 
Wait, it says track power off? But it made a noise, it went like gazump or something. Like, I mean, I'm not a Foley artist, but I'm pretty sure it said gazump. Oh, I know what that is. This is the thing that spins the spinny thing in the middle of the thing. Um, it is not the thing that switches the track power on, which I need to find somewhere else. Possibly by murdering more people. Ow, Jesus. This is not technically a people, so it's fine that I kill it. This is what I really need. I love this waist-high hole. <laughs> like, we've established that Gordon likes to go in holes, but I don't think I'll fit in that one. I'm not entirely sure. Are you supposed to put your finger in there or something else? I reacted on instinct there. That went a bit better. So the way this puzzle works is that somewhere around here there's a big thing I can use to kill the big guy. Which sucks for him personally, but I don't really care. Ow, jeez, fuck! You deserve that. Frankly, frankly, you deserve that. You deserve to be dragged into a hole and eaten. Is he up there? Where the hell is he? That's a yes. I love the way that the grenades sort of flop lifelessly through the air. It's almost like these guys when they fucking die. Or me when bits of ceiling fall on me. That was merciful. I, I was merciful there. Definitely merciful. Oh hey, is this the shotgun that fires both barrels? If I, if I right click. I think it is. This guy's gonna kill me again. <laughs> Wowzers, I'm not great at this. Neither is he, apparently. Yep, he's Gonzo. Oh, ouch. Sounds like there's another one. Fuck. This is starting to feel like those particular areas in Dark Souls where you, you make progress by uh, dying repeatedly. until you figure out what is- ah! Nearly made the same mistake again. Fortunately, I have a tool for this. Wow, that one went to pieces. I love that you can smash the radios. They didn't have to make the radios smashable. Did you, did you just put a trip mine on the- no, that's a grenade. I'm surprised that I was not close enough that one to, t to that one to take damage. We're learning, we're learning a lot about grenades today. Now remember, children, always remember, after you pull the pin, you count to five and then you throw it, you know, to give the charge time to activate. But you make sure that you keep the handle held down during that entire time and then you lob it. And then it goes bang and then people turn into bright red mist and um, this is to your advantage, probably. Aha, no shrapnel in my nose this time. Why was he standing next to a big crate labelled explosives? Spectacularly peculiar behaviour. Generally, generally speaking, I would advise against standing next to three piles of things labelled explosives when you are a man who handles guns for a living. Especially when you're setting up a gun emplacement, which is what I think that guy was doing. <laughs> Why on earth would you do that? That's just bad planning. Well, see, the only time I hid behind a um, a, 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 bar a box labelled explosives, it actually worked and was fine. So, you know, do as I say, not as I do, I think is the answer here. Ow, Jesus, fuck, ow, fuck off. Oh shit, there's too many of them. Where's my, where's my new grenade gun? Ah! Okay, so those guys threw grenades from front and back simultaneously, which feels unreasonable to me. I shouldn't be grenade sandwiched. Uh, you know, I like a nice pineapple as much as the next guy, but that's pretty ridiculous. In case you don't know, pineapple is World War II military slang for a grenade. 
which I find absolutely delightful. Alright, hop hop, let's get on with this. Ow, Jesus fuck. One, one day I'll remember that he's there, but today is not that day. Come on, poke your head out. Or alternative. The fuck happened over there? <laughs> They're as bad at this as I am, this is ridiculous. You know, I don't think any of us should be allowed grenades. Oh, hang on, I've got my new toy to try. Now, I bet this will fuck someone up. Is he? Am I being hunted? Clearly not. Where are you? Go Did that guy genuinely just fucking explode himself? I love the AI on these guys. of them are there. <laughs> Look, we're all bad at grenades today. But that won't stop me using them. They're too much fun. Can I get one in there and kill that guy ahead, ahead of time? Oh, shit. I do like that there's little sparky bits of shrapnel. It's nice. Can I hold this? Oh, I can. I'm choosing not to speak during these loud gunfights because honestly, I can't hear myself think. Half-Life 2, Gordon Freeman and the difficulty of tinnitus. Oh, I think I headshotted that guy. On the second hit, where it didn't matter. That was a waste. I'd love to waste my bullets. Wow. I can't believe that a head crab just get down Mr. President in me. This probably isn't the time to be doing that. I can I can heal up after I find the last guy. Of whom there absolutely is another one. Somewhere. That guy's not even a wearing a helmet. Is that gonna if I if I Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> For the first time, I shot an explosive barrel in a way that was productive and helpful. Oh, that looks like... Oh, there's going to be guys down there. There's going to be guys, and they're going to do stuff. In my, in my defense, it wasn't my fault. The head crab did kind of dive in front of the bullet. Let's see what's around the other side, and if there's any more guys I need to brutally destroy. I should probably not stand near that. Oh, health packs. Oh, I miss health packs. Remember when video games used to have health packs and keys and dungeon doors? Huge shame. We need to go back, frankly. I need to remember to quick save as well. I don't believe it makes any difference whatsoever if you smash the radio. It's just something that is compulsive and fun and enjoyable. I don't- I don't believe anyone plays this game without smashing at least a few radios, because it's just- it's nice. I like the way they separate, I like the way they come apart, and the way they go clanga clanga clang. It's mostly just fun to be in a gunfight and, you know, a reactive, uh... Oh, they can drop batteries? Ow! Okay, well that one did damage. But it's also just, um, you know, it feels good to get my revenge. I see. I see how it is. Okay. I think that perhaps I would not like to touch these blue blue beams. You know, just... You know, I'm relying on my instincts here, but my intuition says it would be an extremely bad idea if I touched or were to allow anything else to touch those blue beams. There we go, problem solved. Mmm, chunky. 
Actually, there's something I find aggressively unpleasant about the game's uh the the blood for Zen creatures. It's it's such an oddly chalky colour. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel right for blood to be that colour. You know, I'll happily look at human stains all day long, but these guys, these guys are kind of fucked up with it. I mean, you're right, it probably is intentionally unpleasant. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Flood from Halo. There's something about their greasy stains they leave behind that is just aggressively unpleasant to look at. Um, which is not like doing laundry in my house, actually. <laughs> my partner just gave me the most why the drive-by expression I've ever seen in my life. Oh, you've survived. Okay, huh. The world's strongest head crab. Now, that seems like it's going to electrocute me if I get too close to it, which is this uh, this thing I've been talking about throughout the game, which is intuition, you know. If you play a lot of video games, you get kind of an instinct for, for things. You start to, start to develop an idea about what might and might not hurt you. And, buddy, I gotta tell you, things that are electric and zappy probably will hurt you. I'm sure that's not a problem. I'm not sure why- is that a- oh, it's a pump. Does it flood down here a lot? Aren't we in like- aren't we in like Nevada? This is- this is Sierra Nevada or something, right? Does- how often does it flood down here? How deep are we? Are we below the aquifer? Because it really shouldn't be. Like, one of the few places you don't need to pump water out of is a desert. Did you log in specifically just so that you could defend yourself to my Twitch chat <laughs> after I unfairly impugned your laundry honour? <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can wait for the right moment to not get electrocuted. Fuck. Oh, I did it. It worked. Fantastic. Completely unharmed. Power generator on. It's all going well. Oh, that's... Okay, that actually seems worse. This seems like a worse problem now. Or I guess maybe I just made it more consistent. It became a more consistent problem. I think that's fair to say. New Mexico, Albuquerque. Wait, that's the same place. New Mexico, Sierra Nevada. You know, it's all just big hot, big hot American places. I'm missing something. Where am I supposed to go? What is down here? Can I go down here safely? Ooh, ooh, bouncy. Ooh, that's nice. That's a that's a really pleasing heft to that. I love to I love to bounce, bounce, bounce. Ow, fuck. Okay. Uh, Gordon, you may have spent a little bit too much time on the trampoline today. The amount of bloodstains that is within normal C is at least four, but not um, fuck. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that's what this is for. You know, all of the time I've been complaining about the inexplicable infrastructure of Black Mesa and their terrible ideas, but you know what? This must be part of this must be part of the blood vent system. The, the whole purpose of this is to is to crush corpses into gibbs. Of course, why didn't I put it together previously? It's clever that they built that in. Fuck. I love indirect fire. I also love that functional cover system so you are kind of required to just stand and take a hit or two. That is another way in which this game is surprisingly of its era. Despite the fact that it has this reputation as being this revolutionary game that you know changed the way games are designed and made, which is true and fair, it is also very much a shooter from you know 2000 and, uh, sorry 1997, 1998 in, in all of the ways that matters. It does just um, have you do stupid shit all the time. And such as, you know, standing in a doorway firing at a man, instead of standing behind the doorway and not being also shot by the man. And the real logistical problem with the meat vents here is that it's just quite difficult to get them, like, down here. Although maybe this is near the cloning facility, that would make sense, because there, there has to be a cloning facility for all of the identical guards and scientists to pop out of fully formed- ooh, grenades! 
Ah, oh, dude, dicks. Ah, oh, fuck, she's a chap. There we go, that's better. Actually, what does this do? Why can I shut that door? Why is that something I'm allowed to do? The game hasn't let me control doors opening and shutting in previously. I have the feeling that something bad is about to happen to me, or, as the famous song goes, something bad about to happen to me. Which is the only line of that song I know, because it's popular on TikTok. Which is kind of a problem, but whatever. Alright, let's see if I can actually... Press a button? This oh, I've missed something somewhere, I think. You better go on without me. Okay. I mean, I was gonna anyway. <laughs> like, I hate to tell you this, but I am not here to rescue you, my man. Um, I don't see any other buttons I can push over there, so I've definitely missed something. I turned I turn that pump on? Ow. Did I not turn the generator on? Did I forget something? I mean, it would be like me to forget something. I don't know if you've ever watched any of my streams or, you know, YouTube content or anything, but- oh shit! Hi! Um, but I do forget things. I do it regularly. I do it without a care in the world. And I do it all for you. This is why I keep Icarus around, so that- so that they can just tell me, like, oh, hey. You need to go this way, you need to go do that, you need to go write this in the console. That's a- oh, that's a bad noise. That That's not a good noise to be hearing. What the fuck am I go- uh, power generator this way? Did I miss the power generator? Because there was that pumping thing down in the basement. Was there a button I didn't push? This game's logic ex uh, escapes me. I do love how fast I can sprint, though. I love a proper old-school video game sprinting speed. Power generator? Power generator. Maintenance area. I went... That's the generator. Okay, so the generator is... The generator is on. It's definitely on. It says it's on. Can I get a little bit more healing juice? Oh, yeah. Just chugging morphine direct from the, you know, injection vial. And that thing's on, yeah, that's fine too. Maybe there was another passageway from the original big room that I missed. Although how I'm supposed to get into it without convenient soldiers to throw away their lives pointlessly distracting a thing for me, I do not know. Clicky button. Have a surreptitious drink while the uh, thing processes. Not a lot of people say this, um, but it is absolutely true. Which hydration is the key to being a streamer. I've discovered this over the over the past couple months. It's that if you want to keep talking, if you want to keep going, you've got to remember to drink loads of water. Otherwise, your throat will seize up and you will stop being able to talk, and that is the worst thing imaginable. It is absolutely vital that you do not have dead air. As we all know, bad radio makes for bad television. I don't think anybody says that, but I don't care. Oh, yeah. 360 no-scope. Perfect jump. Amazing. Is it up there? Do I need to go up there? Can I smash this? Probably not. The only way to get back over is to go hopping across this gap, which I don't know if I can do. Or I could try and climb through that window, but that man will set me on fire and I will die. You know, the large man, the man with crab claws and an angry head. Um, the large fellow, the gentleman. Oh! Track control, power generator, interesting, did I go this way before? I must have Ah, that's the other side of this, okay, that makes sense. Suddenly these spaces are fitting together in what I can only describe as a soulsy fashion. If I sprint through there, am I going to be okay or am I going to die horribly? I am going to quick save, even though that might be inadvisable when I'm this low on health, but... Oh god, oh god, oh god, zoom. <laughs> well, 
well, that didn't work. Um, that's clearly not an option. What am I missing? It's probably something extremely obvious. Ow. I don't think I can stun it or, like, distract it or anything. I think it's just there and it's going to keep causing me problems. Oh, oh, he's got his back turned. <gasps> can I get out? Once again? No. You, sir, are a nuisance. Do you know that? You're more trouble than you're worth. Ooh. Do you know, I think this one's a wizard. Everything else we've fought so far is been not... Wait, hang on. These guys threw lightning bolts. They're all wizards. Oh my god, we're being invaded by, by Zine or something. It's... It's all wizards. It's wizards all the way down. <gasps> oh, I've cracked it open. Oh, okay, hang on. If I if I connect that across, is that gonna do it? Nope. Am I supposed to move the cart onto there before I kill this guy? Because that seems impossible. Because he's absolutely gonna destroy me. Do you know where I am? Man. The power's not on. This is ridiculous. I can't understand it. Don't mind me. I'm just passing through. I think I need to go in that hallway, but I've no idea how to get there without him destroying me. <sighs> also, I'm going to keep saying zine because I'm a huge nerd and therefore I remember very fondly. Uh, the old Might and Magic video games, but of course it is Zen that we care about in this game. Not Zine, not- it's Zen. There's an extra E in there. Be distracted! Be distracted! That's the opposite of being distracted. That's pay- that's actively paying attention to me. This isn't what I wanted at all. I'm sure I haven't missed a passageway, so how exactly am I supposed to do this? Hmm. I definitely can't hurt him. Well, I can dodge that. Hey, do you know what I need to do? You're literally a, you're literally an information giving NPC. Please tell me, for God's sake. Tell me, or I will do something with this crowbar that we'll really both regret. The many crimes of Gordon Imprisoned Man will um, continue to happen unless you please tell me <sighs> Don't make me do this. Well, that did nothing. <laughs> Don't step in the laser. Honestly, I'm surprised the laser's not started puddling on the floor. Run, 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 run. Nope. That ain't gonna do it. Literally, 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 does anyone know what I'm supposed to do here? Because this is not working. I'm starting to turn into the Joker again. As I sprint back and forth between these two different areas, desperately looking for an alternative pathway, I find myself thinking, what if I did just, you know, dab some makeup on my chin? What if I slowly put thick grease paint all over my face and, you know, some fun blue arrows over my eyes and a big red nose and then I just... Just give in. Just become a clown. Is there anything left for me at this stage? Did doing that do goddamn anything? I don't believe so. Running, running, running. Can I get round the corner? <gasps> I did- oh. Oh, I, I see how it is. Fate, you have fucked me again. Ah! Okay, so if I draw his attention over here, somehow, I mean that is just a wizard thing that he's doing. It's absolutely not like there's, there's no there's no physical logic to his actions. He has crab claws that fire comes out of, and also sometimes he stamps on the ground and that also makes fire happen. That's not that's not logical. If he sta if he stands on that and I rotate him with this, will he get disorientated? Is that the answer? I bet it's not. Is there just a button I've missed? Not here. Not here? Also not here. 
please, please reveal unto me your secrets. Literally, like, someone in chat go on GameFAQs and find out the answer because it's apparently 1997 again. <gasps> Did I do it? Did I outrun him? <gasps> Bunny hopping was the answer. I should have known. Medkits. Yeah, see, this is this is the electrical thingies I need to lure him between. Uh, the problem was reaching this area. You can get him to run back and forth between them. Hey, come stand in this. Thanks, buddy. And that's how you do it, apparently. Instead of being cautious, the answer was to just fucking run through him as fast as possible when he was looking the other way. I'm not entirely sure why they have such over overpowered capacitors for what is honestly not a very large facility. I don't believe that you need gigantic Tesla coils to run a train. You know, I'm not a I'm not a train nerd. I, I may be autistic, but I'm not that specific flavour of autistic. But I gotta be honest with you, that is that is not how it works. It's not even like a some kind of fancy sci-fi maglev railway. It's it's just a little train. It's just a it's just a little baby train. Smallest train, most adorable train. Definitely not a train that requires enough energy to fry whatever the fuck that guy was. Also, are you gonna be alright? Are you good? I know I crowbarred you in the face, but we can let bygones be bygones, right? He has nothing to say to me and I do not blame him. Alright, time to get the fuck out of here. Well, you'd think that they would have nice portable Tesla coils for that purpose in Black Mesa. Is this gonna be okay? I guess it's fine. Was that just styrofoam all along? That's more of a barricade in spirit than in function. Got the Thomas the Thomas the Tank Engine theme in my head now. Screaming! I've been waiting for you. Oh how? Your have you really? Why? To give you a message, you're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery rocket. I don't know where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting out of here alive, he didn't tell me. Main thing is, the military aborted the launch, so when you do find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Well, fair enough. Are you just going to make me do this, though? Like, I assume that it's... Excuse me? I got hit pretty hard. I... What the fuck just happened to you, my man? What is- what is your deal? Are you staging a protest? Are you squatting- is this your equivalent of squatting on the M25 to make entirely justifiable and understandable points about climate change? What the fuck? Are you gonna move or like- Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, thanks, guy. Weird- weird behavior, but okay. Are these gonna be a problem? I think we're alright. I wonder if I grenade it up. If I no, if I throw a grenade now, it'll probably fall back on my own head and kill me. Which, honestly, is the kind of thing I've been doing all day anyway. As we all know, Gordon was part of the soccer team in college rather than American football, so he would actually be able to header the grenade back up again. But that's oh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh no, we're fine. There's an awful lot of unshielded sparks flying around. I'm starting to suspect that this facility may have been made by the lowest bidder, which explains all of the arbitrary rooms that don't make sense all over the place, because, you know, if you've got that cushy government contract, why not just, uh, squeeze it for everything it's worth? Oh, I can't get back up here, okay then. I wonder what happened to Icarus, I think they said they were gonna come back, like, uh, after showering because they did not want to miss this particular section of the game. Unfortunately, it's happening anyway. Oh, crates. Oh, I love crates. The very important thing about crates is that you have to get off the train to go get them. I believe there was a popular episode of Thomas the Tank Engine, which was also about the compulsive nature of train riders and their desire to stop riding the train very briefly in order to pick up crates that happened to be left lying around. 
It's very inconvenient, said the Fat Controller. Actually, if anyone ever did a pun on that show, I doubt it was him. That's not... See, this is just unsafe. This is just bad OSHA standards. Well, I suppose the OSHA standards are fine, but this is bad. Can I? Ooh, nice. Well, it was a waste, but it was still cool. Hold still, buddy. Hold still. Alright, alright. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. It'll all be alright. I don't like the sound of that, though. Is there a thing up there? I bet there's a thing up there. We know what we do with things, right? Shit, fuck! <laughs> it happened again, okay. I'm starting to suspect these may just not be a great thing for me. How are you supposed to hit these, like? Are Black Mesa personnel issued with handguns solely to control the train system? Do they have, like, airsoft rifles for this purpose? Paintball guns? The fun thing about being me is that I have no idea what the fuck I said that made you laugh. Well, am I supposed to turn this time or not? Oh, it must have been me fucking up with a grenade again, which I think we can all agree. Like, my incompetence is really the, the core of this series. My total fucking inability to do things properly. I am wasting these, but honestly I've got 33, so why not? Alright. We are at station 37C. All change, all change please. If you have any passengers waiting to board your vehicle, make sure you shoot them all in their fucking faces. Because we do not serve blink dogs for some reason. I guess I've inadvertently created a headcanon which involves some kind of inexplicable racist policy down here, which I don't appreciate and wish I hadn't said. But this feels like foreshadowing. This feels like a bad ouch fuck. Is there another one or is it just one? Buddy, did you kill all of these guys? Good work. I'm sorry I shot you. Well, this sure seems like the bottom end of a rocket. Fucking hell, why are you throwing grenades in here, my man? What out of shotgun? I have a little bit of shotgun left. How many of these fucking things are there? Ha, you missed. Oh shit, I missed. Alright, I think that's all of them. What is this, the headcrab delivery chute? Why do we need he is there is there some fundamental component of the launch that involves having headcrabs down here? Because otherwise that's kind of pointless. This is, I think, the third of these guys who's killed himself with a grenade. So really, it's not just me. Grenades are just kind of dangerous, and I think we should maybe not be playing with them. I say, fully intending to play with grenades at every opportunity. I've got 11 hit points, I should be careful. Oh, where the hell did that come from? I suppose the thing about having teleporting enemies teleporting in all over your facility is that, you know, they can justify just spawning enemies in wherever the fuck they like. You know, you open a door and there's nothing in it. Oh shit, you're right, the headcrabs are the astronauts. You know, they have so little body mass, it would actually be really a fish. Hey, hold still, hold still for a sec, yeah? Yes. Fantastic. I hope that won't bite me in the ass at some point if I need to get through here, but whatever. What's this do? Oh, it's never going to bite me in the ass. Seems fine. This is fine. There's no problems here. Let's just go. <laughs> but yeah, no, one of the advantages to having headcrab astronauts, I've never seen them do that before. What the hell? Uh, one of the advantages to headcrab astronauts is, of course, that their body mass is so low, which means that you have to use a lot, a much smaller amount of delta V to get them into orbit successfully. The downside is that they lack thumbs, which means that the instrumentation panels have to be um, a lot larger and more carefully laid out as they flail wildly with their weird spiky tentacle things. <gasps> Bigger explosives. You know, I've had... I've had these trip mines this entire time, and I I have so far had no reason to use them literally ever. I mean, I'm not going to start now because it'll probably kill me, but you never know. <gasps> Ooh, 
Ooh, here's an idea. What if... What? Please don't fiddle with that, Gordon. Um, what if I put trip mines on Thomas the Tank Engine? Which would I, I guess would make him Thomas the IED. Um, and then went and did stuff. Because it would just, it would head on, right? And there's definitely ambushes ahead. Or would it explode immediately as soon as the, as soon as it starts moving? This is worth, actually straight up, this is worth testing. I want to find out the answer to this question. So we're going to quick save, just in case, which is the scientific method. And then we're going to come over here and just... Alright, that seems fine. It's working so far. <laughs> okay, well that answers that question. Um, apparently the entire world moving is sufficient to trigger it. Which is tragic, really. Oh hey, I bet there's a secret down there. Is there a secret in this filthy hole? I, I'm talking about holes a lot this stream. I think um, filthy hole might be worse than sneaky hole, but you know, I'm not I'm not the one who's been policing my language all afternoon. <clears throat> Although possibly I should have been. Is that it? There's nothing down. Oh, there's a dead guy. Have you got anything cool? One magazine of 9mm ammunition. That is the definition of not cool. I do not give the slightest of shits about that. Hup. There we go. Delicious, filthy, disgusting, slimy water from the bottom of the world. Filling my unfortunate lungs. Is there a spinny thingy? Yes, there is. Full speed ahead, Captain. Let's see what's around this corner. I'm assuming the other path is the critical path and I don't need to go this way. Um, because that's how I play video games and I need to check every single corner and- oh! I think I see someone sneaky. Let's just aim carefully and... That's all for him. It looks like he killed this guy so maybe I should have been rewarding him instead of brutally murdering him for no reason. But, on the other hand, absolutely would have attacked and killed me if it got the chance. They're much like cows, you know, they will kill and eat you and everyone you care about if they get the chance, which is why we have to eat them before they can achieve it. Which is a Simpsons quote and not an anti-vegan sentiment for anyone who is vegan and listening or vegetarian and listening. And, you know, I can't be blamed for my cultural references. I say facetiously because people absolutely can and should be held accountable for their cultural references if they're bad ones. Why, Jimmy, a cow would eat you if it got the chance. Wherever it goes. Great compulsion continues strong in me. It is the curse of my bloodline. You know, it's the fascinating thing about me is that I do have this highly acquisitive... Oh, I'm never going to get back over there, am I? You know, the curse of my grandfather's is that I just... I just, I have this necessity. I just, I gotta open the crates. Gotta. They're crates, it's what they're for. You know, a crate will be unfulfilled if it goes through its entire existence without eventually being smashed into pieces with a crowbar. Much like myself, actually. The eventual end of my journey, I think. This intersection looks familiar. We've been this way before. No, we haven't. Is there another one of these? Yes, there is. Yeah, you thought you were so clever, huh? Waiting in ambush while eating a guy. He's clearly eating a whole guy already because there's bones and things. The, the acid these guys have- oh fuck. I'm low enough on hit points that I don't have the luxury of not exploding things with high power 50, what is that? Was it Magnum 45 or something? I'm not good enough at handguns to know. Although I do know this is a Glock. There's, there's definitely something in there, isn't there? It's going to machine gun me if I'm not careful. You know what? I think this is the perfect time to try our new explosion. Let's back way the fuck up over here. Shit! It did not work at all. <laughs> That's a much more efficient way of dealing with these. 
You know, I really thought bigger explosions would be a new lease on life, but instead... Instead, it tragically has not. Hup. Right, so if I go on the main route again, you're gonna miss. Bye. That should take me back around to where we were, and this time... Oh, hey, it's this bit I tried to back up previously. And this time I should... Oh, shit, fuck. Wow, I can run faster than the train. That's worth knowing for the future. Oh, there we go. No, no, the grenades are not trustworthy at all. They're not my real friends. The only real friend I have is my crowbar. You know, he whispers to me as he impacts on the inside of a man's soft skull. Small pieces of red matter ending up gently spread out all over. Oh, he survived. These guys are tough. Right, welcome to Jib's party. Population giblets. Ow! Not for me! I think I got him. I did not got him. I think I got him. Now, if I am not a foolish person, there will definitely be useful supplies around here somewhere. How do I get up there? That's what I really want to know. Let's not fall down there to our deaths. Deaths plural, because of course Gordon has died about 15 times now. Is that broken? That super looks broken. That's broken. Right, let's see what's down this convenient hole. This one's red. I think we haven't had a red hole yet. Oh, it's just this dead man that I murdered. Fair enough. You know, that is probably the expression I would have if someone headshotted me from a spinning train that was rotating past me on an elevator. <laughs> this this is a man who died saying the phrase, what the fuck? That creased brow, that focused expression, the narrowed eyes. Maybe if I bring the, if I take the lift back up, would that work? Or was I supposed to jump off the lift in order to get on there? Or did we, no, we came from below. How do I get up there? I want I want the treasure. I'm sure there's treasure up there. Well, I'm going to murder a couple of rooms more full of people, and then I think I'm going to call it a night because I'm tired. And is he chill? Are we cool? Are you finally a non-hostile guy? Are we cool? Are you actually cool? Are we good? <gasps> finally, this is the first man I've met since everything went to shit this morning who's been willing to look me in the eyes. Is that a 50 cal? Is this... Is this a 50 cal? Hey, do you mind if I... Is... Are we... Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, I shouldn't, but I really want to. You know what? Fuck it. I decided I was going postal this morning anyway. Well, that ultimately went worse for me than for him, I think. <laughs> Did he throw a grenade on here? That's not allowed. Okay. Well, I'm going to take the lowest common denominator and the simplest possible option. Which is to explode these men with grenades. If I hop on that right now, I bet that'll squat. Ah, fuck, I didn't make it. Ah, okay, right. Ow. <laughs> Now, again, we had this discussion last stream. They're not war crimes, uh, as I am not an actively serving member of a military force. They're just ordinary crimes. Those were incredibly violent and brutal murders. Wow, I made it through with five whole hit points to my name. It was risky, but I'll get to see what delicious treasure was at the top of this puzzle. 
Well, this is why I'm saying that he should just be known as Gordon Incarcerated Man, because that's where he belongs after all the terrible things he's done. Not that I believe in the carceral state system, but, you know, if anyone deserves to be in prison, it's probably Gordon Freeman. Oh, sneaky sneaky. Also sneaky sneaky. Now that seems unreal. <laughs> Vent crime is pretty good. Hup. There we go. Let's try this again. Oh, is that going back down? Excuse me? What the fuck? Did I set it to reverse? And now this... Oh, goodbye. <laughs> that guy's been diced gently by this um, rising grate, I think. Gordon friend to grenades and absolutely nobody else. Because when Gordon heard Mr. Safety Pin is not your friend if Mr. Safety Pin is on the ground, Gordon thought... Mr. Safety Pin is not my friend. I must remove Mr. Safety Pin from my life at every opportunity. And this time, we are going to refrain from getting immediately exploded by a grenade. Ah, <laughs> oh, hubris. The delicious flavour. Can I hit him from here with this? I think I got him. Yeah, see how you like it. <laughs> I can quite like the click of an empty chamber as you turn a corner and face a bunch of guys. Ow, Jesus. That stings. Okay, it's the 50 cal. So I don't know if the AI is like supposed to break. Ow. When you come through here. But it is hilarious to me that it did because I came at it from the other side. I don't think that's supposed to happen and I don't think it normally does happen. Oh, hey, my buddy's still there. Is he chill? Is he actually chill? Would he have been chill if I hadn't tried to- No, he's not. Well, you know, if you start some, you get some, you know? When you throw hands and or bullets, the ultimate, uh, The ultimate fate which you suffer is to die by the bullets as well, I guess. Oh, hey, I can- <laughs> Never have I felt such a strong degree of responsibility. There's nothing quite like becoming the, um... The person whose job it is to lift and lower. Fuck. Now is not the time to reload. Remember to reload, Dr. Freeman. My ass. Let's see. Man, the recoil on this thing's terrible. Hey, I dodged one. Right then, let's see what all the fuss is about up here, because this is clearly Party Town Centre. You know, the judicial centre and obviously administrative centre of Party Town, because fuck off. Everybody's hiding in corners and waiting to shoot me, which is a, you know, prime... Diagnostic criterion of a place being absolute party town. Gordon Free Manslaughter, I will give you, is extremely good. Although, I mean, manslaughter is accidental. Yeah, no, you're right, manslaughter is accidental, and almost all of the murders I have done have been completely unintentional. I'm not sure I've actually murdered anyone to- well, okay, no, all the- all of the soldiers, I have definitely murdered those guys. <laughs> I definitely meant to kill this guy, you know? I say, looking at one of the few guys I didn't personally murder. What is the point of having 50 round magazines if you don't remember to refill them? Also, there's no way in hell these are 50 round magazines. I've seen them on the floor, they're not that big. You know what these guys are good at? Catching pineapples. Less good at the throwing, much like myself, as we have firmly established. You know, I think I'm supposed to be doing these fights on the train as I go past. Look, if I declare to the world that I'm going to walk forwards while pulling the trigger every 15 seconds, 
it is straight up someone else's fault for standing in front of that. You know, I've made my reasonable declaration. I've done my due diligence. I've ensured that I have sufficient stock of bullets to make good on my prom promise. Aha! I know what that means. So I guess it was a good idea I came through here instead of just riding the train until it exploded in my face. Because, well, there are some things that might reasonably explode in my face. Explosions are not one of them. That's That doesn't make sense. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I have never willingly made sense in my life. Am I forgetting something? What's up here? Oh, this is where we came in. Where all of these problems started. Which means I should probably try and find my train. Thomas, where art thou? I'm just making sure. Actually, shit, that might be a war crime too. I mean, a regular crime. Anyway, I am pretty much done for today. I just want to try and get back to my train. And then we can set off next time where there probably won't be any murder because I'll be on a train. You know, there's nothing safer than a train that has zero plating or any kind of, you know, protection around it to prevent people shooting me. And the inevitable um, retaliation that I'm required to perform. You know, I don't I don't want to be doing all of this horrible murder, it's just natural. If somebody shoots at you, shoot him back, and you know, if you're wearing top of the range power armor, then it's on him for shooting at you in the first place. Especially when he outnumbers you, that's just unfair, frankly. It's really hard to put this thing in neutral. Anyway, so that's going to be all for today as we hit the two hour mark that I kind of set for my streams, both to protect my voice from ongoing damage post COVID and to make life easier on my flatmates who don't have to put up with me yammering in the corner all night long. So that's going to be all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. If anyone is watching who doesn't already, go check out my YouTube channel for in-depth Let's Plays, but um, I don't think that's likely today. And thank you so much to my Patreon patrons, and thank you so much for being here, and thank you for watching explosions and not telling me off every time I murder people, which frankly is something I've had far too much of in my life, and that's going to be all for today.